Well, hello everyone. My name is Emilio Chavez and I'm going to give you a short explanation of what the Josephson effect is. So this is electronics and let me start by comparing uh, with a very simple analogy, classic versus quantum mechanics. Let's suppose we are here in this hill and we want to pull the ball to ball down. Classic mechanics uh, states that at any time after we threw the ball that we take a look at its position, uh, the ball could be uh, somewhere in this region, but uh, it could never surpass this line of uh, potential energy. So yes, after any time, the ball must and will ever be somewhere in this region. But this is a different world. This is quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, uh, the position of the ball is a function of probability. So uh, any time after we threw the ball that we take a look at its position, uh, quantum states that it could be anywhere in this entire region, even in between the mountain or after it, there's a small chance, but there's still a chance. So after we know that, let's uh, have another analogy. Let's say I'm a student of the Tecnológico de Monterrey, and I'm going to take electronics next semester, which is not going to happen. And I have two options. I have Dr. Quinones in here, and as well I have uh, Professor Camacho in the other side. And this is me. So let's say that Camacho uh, at any moment he tells me, hey, dear student, come take electronics with me. And I'm gonna, of course, I'm going to say never. My loyalty is with Dr. Quinones. But uh, if Professor Camacho tries to convince me and he tells me, hey, I'll pay you with an order of Chilaquiles. This is voltage, my friends. Then I will say, okay, I move only in this case but let's see the next uh, uh, point uh, if the student in this case me had a very close friend and they were both deciding who to take the class with after the first student got his order of chilaquiles he was com he would convince the second to come with him because he's his friend they want to make teams and everything even if the second didn't, go, didn't get his order of Chilakilic. This means no voltage. How is this related to electronics? Let's suppose we have two plates in here. So this is the first student. And he got an order of Chilakilic, in this case voltage. So he moved from the positive plate to the negative plate. And the other student, the close friend, he wouldn't need voltage to move because of quantum tunneling that we explain in this case. So this is mostly what Josephson junctions do. So this is what is known as a Josephson junction. And uh, what it states basically is that uh, due to the fact that we explained before, uh, current uh, flows indefinitely without any voltage applied. This current is called supercurrent. Of course, we have, we're dealing with uh, quantum mechanics, so uh, this effect is only reached uh, with superconductors and uh, very, very low temperatures. So thanks everyone. This is a short explanation of what the uh, Josephson effect is and a Josephson junction. Thanks.